Hi, Bobby here, and today's lick is um, over a blues shuffle in C. Um, this features notes that are purely from the uh, C minor pentatonic scale, so there are no, there's no major uh, tonality in there. So it will work equally effectively over um, a, a dominant seventh chord as a minor seventh chord. If you want to kind of incorporate this into, you know, your existing licks and phrases, and uh, it's got a triplet, uh, well, it's got a shuffle feel to it. Um, I'm just going to play it slowly. Three, four, and. One more time. So all within the framework of our uh, C minor pentatonic scale in its various positions. Um, we start with this double stop. So this is um, 12 on the G and 11 on the B, but you want to slide even one fret below. And then there's this rake, reverse rake, um, where you're actually raking, I'm actually raking across the top three strings, but I'm muting out with the uh, fleshy part of my um, first and second fingers, I'm actually muting out the top two strings. So all you hear is the fretted note, which is uh, 12 on the G. So, and then there's a kind of, you might want to practice this in isolation, but there's a an almost immediate um, grace note slide from 12 down to 10 on the G. And then pull off to eight. And then eight on the D string, so. And then eight on the G, so the first phrase. And then we uh, play this tried and tested uh, triplet blues lick that we, we've come to know and love. That's um, bend up the whole step on G on the 10th fret. And then we've got this partial bar. That's, uh, you want to bar your first finger across the top two strings on the eighth fret. So that's 10 on the B, 10 on the high E. And then we've got this triplet lick, which is um, 11 on the high E. And you want to bend that slightly sharp, tease it slightly sharp. And then it's uh, eight on the high E and eight on the B. And then you do the same on the um, B string. Tease that slightly sharp at the 11th fret. And then eight on the E, eight on the B. So, so one repetition. And then you do it again. And then there's a grace note slide from 11 to this C note on the 13th fret on the B string to top it off. Um, so I'm incorporating some hybrid picking into it. It's just something that I do as a force of habit. Um, and uh, it's not something I'm going to break down because it's equally effective just to, you know, use, use a pick for this. So... Um <laughs> That's the lick. Hopefully you found it useful. And uh, if you did, please like this video and hit subscribe. If you're looking for a blues uh, guitar course, then uh, here are a few words about my website. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. If you've ever wanted to play the blues with all the emotion of your favourite guitarists, or if you're keen to join in a jam night and just need a bit more confidence, Absolute Blues Guitar has you covered. We offer an immersive course and whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, we're committed to making an authentic blues guitarist out of you. Everything we teach is broken down note for note, written out in tab and standard notation and accompanied by high quality backing tracks. We give you all the tools you need to play classic blues and beyond. There really is nothing missing. My name's Bobby Harrison, I'll be your teacher and I'm very much looking forward to seeing you inside.